Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man, back with a controversial view of The Green Inferno. Jason and I started the Controversial View series in April of 2023. At the time, we decisively knew what the first film we'd cover would be. Cannibal Holocaust seemed like the perfect premiere for Controversial View. Now, almost a year to the day, we thought we'd cover a movie that pays great homage to Cannibal Holocaust. Eli Roth's The Green Inferno. Released in 2013, The Green Inferno was Eli Roth's love letter to fans of 70s and 80s Italian cannibal horror. That obviously includes the most infamous of all from that subgenre, Cannibal Holocaust. Just like that early predecessor to which it pays homage, The Green Inferno is surrounded with controversy. First, there's the obvious, the subject matter. It's gory and gruesome and brutal. But if you're watching The Green Inferno, chances are you're a fan of similar films. So that probably won't be so controversial to you. Because of that, I'll focus more on some of the -the behind-the-scenes controversies. The Green Inferno was the first feature film to be shot in the deepest regions of the Amazon. It's the most remote location a movie has ever been filmed. When Eli Roth and his crew approached local villagers to be extras in the movie, they had no idea what the concept of a film even was. That should give an idea of how cut off from society they actually were. The cannibalistic tribe in the film was actually portrayed by a peaceful tribe. They were not actors and actresses, but actual villagers. For including them in the film, the tribe offered a two-year-old child as a gift to the production designer to say thank you. Obviously, the offer was politely declined. I'd say that's pretty damn controversial. No, not the refusal, the offering. Actors and actresses wanting to audition for The Green Inferno had to agree to be vaccinated for yellow fever. They were also surrounded by tarantulas, snakes, and poisonous frogs that could kill them on contact. Of course, there were no bathrooms either. That comes into play in the storyline as well. If you've seen it, you know what I mean. After filming was completed, the cast and crew were treated for parasites. The Peruvian natives who appear in the movie had never been filmed or photographed by Westerners prior to The Green Inferno. Temperatures reached a scorching 110 degrees, which caused an entire Peruvian camera crew to quit on the very first day of production. One cast member had to be hospitalized. But on a positive note, The Green Inferno does not feature any violence against animals. That's rare for this type of film. You have your graphic violence, nudity, and a significant inclusion of FGM. If you're unaware of what those three letters stand for, I'd advise you to look it up yourself. But be warned, it's a controversy in itself. There's so much more I could say about The Green Inferno, but Jason will be discussing it as well in his video. So please be sure to check that out. I'd also recommend checking out this film, but only if you enjoy movies like Cannibal Holocaust. If not, that's fine. Jason and I watched it, so you don't have to. This is just my controversial view. Have you seen Eli Roth's The Green Inferno? If so, what do you think of it? 
Comment below and let me know. Which controversial movie will we view next? Check back soon to find out. Until then, remember, physical media matters. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind. Subscribe.